Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and Bible journaler here on YouTube, and I'm going to be journaling Psalm 143, verse 8, show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. This one is in particular because I've had a song lyric bouncing through my head. It's an older song, Jesus Take the Wheel. I've always thought a steering wheel would be a great thing to put in my Bible as a visual image. So I've used a roll of tape to create a double circle. You can use a lot of different things to create that. And then I'm just going to create a shape for the steering wheel that's in my car. That's what I used. You can, depending on what shapes you have in yours, I'm just putting half the steering wheel in here because your mind fills in the other half. So I can just put in part of it. And I have these little buttons on the right hand side and then there's an oval in the middle with the logo. And instead of a Ford logo, I'm just gonna put a little cross in there. Draw some buttons in the little window and then start coloring with some colored pencils. These are the actual Prismacolor pencils that were used during the photo shoot of my book. So I thought it would be kind of fun to mention that. The book is coming out soon, October 23rd, 2018. So if it is not yet then, then be patient. If you're watching this video after that, then yay, you can go and get it. There's a link to the website in the doobly-doo down below and you can grab it on Amazon or on Barnes and Noble, lots of other places. And I know there's lots of churches I'm trying to get to order the book for their church bookstore. So if you're, you're church has a store, make sure you send a link to the website and tell them to look around. There is a link for Ingram, which is where they would purchase the books in bulk so that they could get them to you. So there you go. All right, for the coloring of this, I didn't want just plain black because my steering wheel is black. You can, of course, make one that's rainbow colored, whatever you want, but I wanted it to be a black one, but not feel kind of heavy and black and that sort of thing. So I like to put a little bit of color underneath some of the black in the highlight areas because otherwise the highlights will just be gray and that'll be kind of boring. So I added a little bit of blue. When I work with colored pencils, I often start with light layers and I just build up because I try to decide how dark do I want to go on this? Do I want to really go full pressure or do I want to start with a lighter kind of pencil line? And if you're interested in getting a lot more in-depth information about colored pencils, there is a colored pencil jumpstart class over on my teaching site. And I'm speeding this up because we could sit here and watch this forever. But over on my teaching site, art-classes.com, there's a couple of Bible journaling classes. You're welcome to check those out. But there's one that's for uh, colored pencils called Colored Pencil Jumpstart. And it includes some lessons on Bible pages. So there are some Bible techniques in there. It's not just for other people and crafters and artists and that kind of thing. It's also got some Bible journaling information in that. So I thought I'd let you know there are some techniques special for you in that. So I am adding some shading. I thought I'd talk a little bit about the shading. I'm pressing harder in order to get the darker areas. And as I got this center portion darker, I thought, yeah, okay, I'm enjoying the dark. I'm enjoying that contrast. So I decided to add contrast to the rest of the wheel. And the highlights, you noticed I put in the blue, the blue areas are at the tops of each one of those shapes. And the shadows are then gonna be at the bottom. That's how light falls on an object, the higher, places closer to the light, if the light was straight up and above, would be pointing down on the tops of each shadow on a shape like a donut, like this steering wheel, or it also works for shading for a donut. On the bottom part, you'd have shadows on the very bottom, but when you get to the top section, it's the inside that gets the shadows. And then it slowly blends out to the top. And I'm putting a little black over top of those highlights so that it doesn't feel like I have sudden blue there, but I just have that cast of blue underneath the highlight. And I'll add a little bit more with a white pen in just a few minutes to add a little bit more contrast even. But I wish I colored this fast in real life. It would make everything in my life easier if I could do everything fast. But thank goodness for video technology, I can speed things up so we're not sitting here all day long watching me color. For the buttons, I'm just coloring portions of the, the content of the buttons. And then I'm adding a slight halo here on that center portion, which will make it look a little metallic, leaving a white outer edge to it. So it just gives a little reflection. And we'll slow back down here a little bit. That fast pace was getting a little much. And here is the 
the white pen highlights. And again, the highlights on the top are going to be on the top edge. The highlights on the bottom section are going to be across the top of the bottom part, if that makes sense. And this is a Signo Uniball white gel pen. All of my supplies are always listed, by the way, in the description of the video. They're also over on Bible Journaling Made Simple. There is a Bible Buyer's Guide as well as a Supplies Buyer's Guide. So you can see the kinds of supplies that I use. There's links to go and get them if you need them, or just to see what they are, what kind of Bibles. You can click on the Bibles themselves in the little shop thing and just check them out, see inside them, see some pages that I've created in them. And for the lettering, I wrote it very, very lightly in pencil, and then I'm tracing over top of it with some other colors of pencil. And there is going to be another class added very soon to the art-classes.com website just for Bible journalers, and it's going to be typography for Bible journalers. So here I've got Jesus take, and then I'm going to put the, real small, in between, take the wheel. And I've left room at the bottom so I can write a prayer about what this page is about, which is Charlottesville. That is one of the reasons that I've done this page, is because Jesus take the wheel, we need your help. If we even have something like Charlottesville that happened last year, we're celebrating, if that is a, such a word, the one year anniversary, then we need some serious Jesus in our lives. So thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. I'll see you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye.